Don't be afraid of the coronavirus. What are you afraid for? Aren't you a seeker of Christ? And don't you believe that our Father is in heaven? Don't you know that Jesus protects you if you believe in him? These, like, bro, these Christians, these Christians, these fake wannabe Christians, bro. I just, I literally just took the title as a Christian because I, I was I was honestly in denial because I didn't want to be like them. So I didn't want to hold that name. But at the end of the day, it's all different kinds of Christians out here. It's the real ones, it's the fake ones. So I'm, I'm a Christian. Bruh, I wanted to show y'all a clip from Marcus Rogers' video. And he was basically saying that, well, he had a clip of the lady ahead of the vaccine. She, she was at, um, a conference or whatever speaking to thousands of people and she talking about the vaccine was a gift from god bruh she said the vaccine was a gift from god i'm so upset that i can't find that video so i could just post it for y'all but if you don't believe me it's okay i don't care but she said the vaccine was a gift from god and she was really going on for like 10 minutes trying to explain why we should be taking the vaccine and she said i i remember y'all know she's speaking to the crowd y'all know those people out there who don't want to take the vaccine y'all know them y'all gotta get them to take the vaccine because this was a gift from god and i'm like yo you don't even understand i was so freaking mad like bruh I, yo, that's, it really made me super mad, super mad, because if you don't know the Bible, it's a story of a woman. She was, she, she was bleeding for eight to 10 years, something like that. She gave all her money to the doctor, literally poor. She didn't get better. She got worse. It's all written in the Bible in the New Testament. I don't know which um, chapter it's in, but it's in my heart. I read it multiple times. So that, that story has been stuck with me for a long time. A woman who's been bleeding for 10, 8 to 10 years, gave all her money to the doctors, did not get better, but got worse. And then this was when Jesus came. He was finally brought into the earth to be crucified. He was in the crowd. This woman, she said it in her heart. If she can only touch his garments he will she will be healed bruh she touched his garment she was healed and he felt power come out of him he was in the crowd but he felt power come out of him and he called out who touched me his disciples talking about bro you talking about who touched me and it's mad people around you he said it again who touched me the woman who touched jesus she came down and bowed on her knees knees and hands and said i'm sorry for doing what i did he said my child you are healed go on 10 years this woman was giving her money to doc so-called doctors so-called physician that's gonna help she giving your money to these people that haven't did nothing for her nothing putting her face and men instead of God for 10 years until Christ came in the flesh and she knew this was her chance to get healed, bro. Okay, so I had to get the word so I can correct myself. So I'll give y'all um, accurate knowledge. So it wasn't 10 to 8 to 10 years. It was actually 12 years in which this woman was struggling giving her money to physicians so-called doctors back in the day still to this day we are still giving our money to these doctors and not putting our faith in the one and only healer bro this is crazy and then so crazy how this the so-called hospital claims that they helping people and they asking you for money it's so crazy that you you could go in there for a, a headache and they prescribe you thousands of pills for your stomach and whatever else just to get get you to buy this medication. I 
my understanding of the hospital is that the hospital was not meant for us. The hospital was meant for themselves. The hospital only cares about money. I, to myself only, I, I stopped going to the hospital for about a year now when I started my walk with Christ because that story right there, bro, that story brought some light into my eyes because I have been healed before by Christ by praying. He healed me literally. Um, as a child, I scraped my knees. I don't know what I was riding on, but I fell off. I scraped my both of my knees in the driveway. As a child, I knew there was a God. I prayed in that driveway. Both of my knees scraped. I prayed for one. I said, Lord, heal me. I take my hands off and my knee is completely healed. There's no blood on there no more. So I'm freaking shocked a little bit, not, but not really. I go to my other knee and I ask God to heal me. And I open my hand and it wasn't healed. So I had to go to my grandma, but I didn't tell her that story that I got healed. It's so crazy how society claims that they are here for you. The government claims that they are here for your benefit, like your good benefit. But they, if you see them correctly, they are they only care about money they don't care about they only care about control they only care about what they want you to believe like a whole bunch of people was not going to understand where i'm coming from they might think that i'm crazy they might like be like this girl is freaking tripping or whatever but if you have the same understanding if you go seek the father if you have a relationship with our brother, Jesus, you will be like, bro, I've been feeling that same way. I've, I've been having that revelation for a long time. Now, I just didn't want to speak on it, bro. Even Michael Jackson said it. All I want to say is that they don't really care about us. Bro, <laughs> Michael Jackson did the most to be accepted by men. And at his end times, all I want to say is that they don't want to care about us, bro. How long are you going to be living for men's approval, living for men's and, and just going off of what the next men tell you? People out here really getting a vaccine, not knowing that our father, our Jesus, is, is the one who can heal everything, who can protect you from any and everything. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. I am more than a conqueror. I know that. And if you know that, you will not be putting your faith in no vaccine. You will not be putting your faith in the news. You will not be scared about what the next coronavirus or what the next virus or whatever about to come. No, nah, you you be like, my, I'm covered. I'm protected. God got me no matter what. But if you're not seeking the Father, you're not going to have that authority. You're not going to have that acknowledgement of what you can do, what you can prophesy over your life. You're not going to have that because you have not yet to seek the Father. And I just I just want y'all to literally try him out, bro. Like, you can't, you have to test the spirit. You have to. You, you see everybody just taking them for their word, but you have no idea in what spirit they are operating from. Yeah, they got a nice car. Yeah, they look nice. Yeah, they got a big platform, da-da-da. But what spirit are they operating from? Are you just listening to them because they sound nice? Or are you listening to them because they have actually touched the part in your heart and your soul and you can connect with that? You hear them from your heart. Your, your soul is reaching out to that person. But if it's not that, or if you just getting hyped just to get hyped because a person playing some super dope beat or whatever, you will never get... You will never have an understanding of what message that person is really trying to get. But yes, guys, um, this video is basically about putting your faith in the Lord because you, with this coronavirus, it was already proven that our um, body immune system can fight it off. I never, I never personally had the um, corona because, bro, since I was a child, I ain't get sick, so I, I've been like that for a whole for almost my whole life, I had the mentality, I don't get sick, and I, 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 and I don't, because my God, he, he's my healer, he's my savior, I don't, I don't do that, I do not worry, I do not fret, I don't got time for 
all the unnecessary BS and I just lie when I say I don't worry because I do worry sometimes but not as much as the next person I might be like oh okay and what but I'm not about to be obsessed with almost obsessed with getting sick because once you be obsessed with getting sick you get sick that's what happened it's a whole bunch of mito um hypochondria um diseases out here when it comes down to having imaginary illnesses so if you don't believe in the lord if you don't if you don't take up this time to really go figure out for yourself and what power you put hold what power you hold and what power he has to give you to offer you brother this time right here is really gonna beat you up people i was just having a conversation with this older lady she was like this coronavirus is a problem i'm like this coronavirus is not no problem the problem is the spirit behind the coronavirus trying to get people to take a vaccine that has no ability to heal nobody Jesus didn't go in no freaking science lab and be like, here, take this concoction, take this um, vaccine. No. Jesus had the power to heal through him from God himself. He did not give nobody no medicine. If you read in the Bible, why are you looking to be healed by some medicine, some, by some vaccine that has no ability to heal? And that is so crazy. I'm like, bruh. I even start, I stopped taking pain pills because I don't even know what's in them. I, I'm, I stopped doing a lot of stuff because I'm like, bruh, once you have the, once you have the knowledge of truth, you start to move differently. You will want to move differently because you know things that other people don't know. And you will have to be the one to, to lead by example because nobody's going to do what you doing unless you lead by example nobody's gonna believe you unless you lead by example you have to lead by example you have to be wanting to be a chosen vessel of the lord you have to ask him you have to acknowledge god in all your ways you have to be with him 24 7 you have to have that relationship with our father because if you don't you will die i've been there i was dead for majority of my freaking teen the early 20 life and i finally came alive and it was what my 24th year is about over bro but i'm fi i finally made it i made it out of darkness i made it out of men's approvals i made it out of the knowledge of science what people was trying to um bash our religion against science talking about your belief is is false the um your belief of, of christ cannot save you from this vaccine and i know in my heart that god has the power to do anything at the end of the day if god couldn't heal me i wanted to be here today i wouldn't even i would have got sick if my father wasn't here i would have got sick i would have got i would have been in the hospital with everybody else and don't forget majority of those so-called covid deaths those were already people in high condition. They were already in bed arrest. They were already vegetables. A person could have got in a car accident and they would have said COVID-19. It was a whole bunch of RNs, nurses, telling telling customers. My, my homegirl, her brother had to go in the hospital and the nurse was explaining to her what, what nasty stuff what, that was going in on in those hospitals that a lot of y'all have faith in the hospital y'all have faith in these doctors that didn't do nothing for that woman who was bleeding for 10 plus years eight to 10 plus years she gave them all her money and still didn't get better but she got worse okay at the end of the day you cannot live your life you cannot have a healthy life you cannot have a a peaceful life when it comes down to living in this world without Jesus. Yes, you can have a peaceful life. Yes, you can have a healthy life, even in this coronavirus situation. All things is possible. You have to believe in the impossible, guys. That's that's where our God live at, in the impossible. Y'all remember? Um, I don't know if you remember Moses, but nothing but the impossible there. He got his people out of Egypt. We came across the Red Sea. I don't even know if they knew how to swim, but they ain't matter because with Jesus, with the faith of God, bro, that sea was.
split in half in the the um egyptians behind them what happened the the sea swallowed them up but still gave um god's people a clear path to the next land while it's taking care of the people that was trying to attack them but yes all this was to say is um put your trust in the lord bro that vaccine is not here to help um the people behind the vaccine is not here to help the people behind the vaccine is only trying to control you. It's only trying to test on you. It's not. It's nothing new. If you um really is in touch with the truth, you you understand where I'm coming from. But if you have no idea where I'm coming from, I strongly suggest you pick up your Bible, study it at least. Start with five minutes a day. Starting with five minutes a day, I guarantee you will want more. You will want to spend more time than just five minutes a day. So that's my own little challenge start five minutes a day just listening to the word every morning or whenever you get a chance my favorite time is in the morning so i suggest the morning but we'll do it whatever you feel comfortable but yes this your girl key thanks for clicking on me like comment and subscribe to my channel if you want to but if you don't it's okay i don't care but yes um like i said this your girl key thanks for clicking on me and i'll see you in my next youtube video on um, make sure you you get in touch with the father make sure you pick up your bible make sure you don't neglect yourself because once you neglect the father you are neglecting yourself once you neglect the brother you are neglecting yourself because you cannot come to god without jesus so don't neglect yourself so yes this is your girl key i said again bye bye <laughs>